In this problem, we're told a car is moving with a speed of 32 meters per second. The driver sees an accident ahead and slams on the brakes, giving the car a deceleration of 3.5 meters per second squared. How far does the car travel after the driver put on the brakes before it comes to a stop? Right, so the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. Right, so we have this car traveling 32 meters per second. Right, so its initial velocity is 32 meters per second. Right, and then at this point, it's going to start decelerating. Right, so its acceleration, A, is going to be equal to minus 3.5 meters per second squared. Right, so they tell us the deceleration, right? And so basically what that means is we're gonna be slowing down at a rate of 3.5 meters per second squared, right? And it's negative because we're slowing down, right? Positive means we're going faster, uh, negative means slower, right? So we're gonna slow down, slow down, slow down until the car becomes zero meters per second, right? Because we're trying to find how far it travels before it comes to a stop, right? And so when it's stopped, its velocity is zero. So basically it goes from 32 to zero at a rate of this, and we're trying to find how far it travels. So we're trying to find how far it travels, or delta x basically, because that's just going to be the change in its position or the distance, right? So the way you want to solve it is just by writing your given next. So if we write out the variables we're given, we're given v sub 0, which is 32 meters per second. Uh, we're given v, which is 0 meters per second. And then we're given a, which is minus 3.5 meters per second squared. And so what we're trying to do is solve for delta x. Right, so if you look at our equations here, uh, the first three all contain t, so we can't solve because we don't know what t is. So what we're gonna do is use this one right here. v squared equals v sub zero squared plus two a times delta x. So the reason we're using it is because we're trying to find a delta x and we have v, we have v sub zero and we have a. So all we have to do is plug it in. So if I rewrite the equation, v squared plus v sub zero squared plus two a times delta x. So what we wanna do is just go ahead and plug in. So v is zero, zero squared is still zero equals v sub 0 squared, which is just 32 squared, plus 2 times a, which is minus 3.5, and then multiply it by delta x, right, because that's what we're solving for. So if we move minus 32, or we move 32 squared to the other side, minusing it, right, so you'll get minus 32 squared is equal to, and then 2 times minus 3.5, that's just minus 7. So minus 7 times delta x, divide by minus 7, right, notice these uh, signs are going to cancel, and it's going to become positive, right? And so it makes sense that it's positive, right? Because a distance has to be positive. You can't have a negative distance. That doesn't make sense. But if you go ahead and do this, 32 squared, and then divide by 7, you're going to get delta x equals 146.2857 and so on. Uh, you can just round to 146. So 146 meters, that's going to be basically how far it travels before it's able to stop. Right, and if we look at our answers, uh, A is 146 meters, so yeah, it's going to be A, so your answer to this problem is A, and hopefully you found this useful.